afternoon, everyone. This is Amory Band, and we are looking at a midday money ball outlook. And I gotta tell you, we have nothing but sideways action. It is absolutely atrocious. And one of the main things we need to watch out for is why and what might be waiting on. So my supposition is that we're waiting on the CPI number, and the CPI number is going to be really important for all of us. And so here's what we want to watch for. We've got a daily formation that's got us set up at the 384-ish and some change, 3450. And this is a halfway mark between the day of motion for the prior day. All right. And so this ledge is really very, very important. Well, what we're doing in this formation is high, higher high, low, lower low. So that is a broadening wedge. And that broadening wedge is going to either collapse or expand. And so this is why I'm so tentative about putting on positions right now. So what do you want to look for trading your other stuff? So in my mind, the big things to watch really are what we're seeing from where price action is moving. And I've got to tell you, everything I'm looking at is showing the energy sector being down. And that's because they're pricing recession on the end of these numbers. And so we have to really think about where we're positioning in the longer term for a bounce up. We were in a very clean spot for a motion to bring us upside for a, a bearish bounce type of formation. And we literally have had no traction. So I'm suspecting that we end up moving lower. And so this afternoon, I'm going to be positioning trades moving in that general direction. So what I want to show you here, though, is what we've got in Motive Wave. And so this is my first time in Motive Wave with you folks, but I'm sharing with you all the other things that you can see. One, this is called cumulative delta. And do you see how it's a stair step down across the board? It's telling us that even though price is jockeying around in this space, the delta flow is negative. And when delta flow is negative, it really gives us a heads up that we're not going to be able to hold this price. From a daily perspective, it's moving up, it's moving down. My suspicion is if we can get some kind of bounce, we're going to get a great trade that allows us to trade down into the support structure. But I'm being very tentative about it. Let's take a look at cues. Same sort of thing. I've got, uh, oopsie, I'm going to put the fix here. And so I'm going to put that number three. I'll put it over here. So here we have cues. And the cues look a little bit different. And that's because we have this massive run up into the pre-market that is still a pretty good run up overall, but not really holding all the price points per se, because it was running all the way here. And now we're looking at um, something that's just a little bit above the price action space. Again, see the negative delta flow. And we've got our awesome oscillator, I don't know, name that. <laughs> All right, but what we are seeing is a lot of negative flow. And so my gut is telling me, even though we look at these bounces and they look great, we seem to be holding these lows, particularly from a daily formation, right? Both in the SPY and the Qs, we can see that we are holding these lows, but it's just not clean. And so this is bothering me. And we've also got these gaps down to the north. So we'll see, all right? We're not going to trade anything massive, and I think we get some whipsaw with the CPI because of the price action in general, all right? Okay, that's going to be it for me. We're going to be slow and steady. I know you might be annoyed because you're thinking to yourself, man, I want to trade, but it's not about being active. It's about being productive, and so I'm always studying for that space because these are the trades that I take. And I've got plenty of gray hair from bad ones, and I don't want to give any bad ones to any of us, and I don't really want to take any bad ones myself. So, steady as she goes, and I'll see you next time.